Welcome to Electron Online, and now for an example on how to calculate the surface tension. And basically, uh, when we try to calculate the surface tension, it's trying to find the force required to shear through, through the surface. So let's say you have a surface, and that surface is kind of hanging together because the intermolecular forces of the molecules at the surface. So when you push down on it, first you will indent the molecules, and eventually, if you push hard enough, you'll break the molecules apart, and so you'll break them along the line where you push down on it, and so it's a function of how much force do you have to apply for how long of a section of the water that you want to break open. So the surface tension typically is associated with a force. We write it as F sub ST for the surface tension force. And it's usually associated with what we call the coefficient of surface tension, which for water is 72 dynes per centimeter. So to break through one centimeter of surface, you have to push down with a force of 72 dynes, which equates to 0 0.072 newtons per meter of surface. And so imagine the beaker right here. You want, to, you want to calculate the surface tension along the rim of the beaker. Then we're going to multiply the coefficient of the surface tension right here times the length, which means the circumference of the beaker, times the angle that it makes with the surface. And let's, for example, say that the angle it makes is 10 degrees. Normally, it's more like 0, but let's just take 10 degrees to show the example. Let's say that the radius of the beaker is 5 meters, which is about 2 inches. How much surface tension uh, is, exists along the rim? It's basically, the rim breaks the tension of the water, and so the water then rises up just slightly along the edges because of the adhesion forces between the water molecules and the surface of the beaker. All right, so let's plug that in. So we have the coefficient, which is 0.072 newtons per meter. Multiply times the length, which is 2 pi times the radius, because the circumference of the beaker is 2 pi times the radius. The radius is 5 centimeters, which is 0.05 meters. And then we multiply times the cosine of 10 degrees, which is almost 1. So it doesn't really matter when it's a very small angle like that. So we get 0 0.072 uh, times 2 times pi times 0 0.05 times the cosine of 10 equals, and we get hmm, 0 0.0223 newtons. So the surface tension would be 0 0.0223 newtons along the edge of the, of the beaker. And so since you can almost imagine that, this, that was, let's say that we had a hollow beaker right here, and uh, this was a big cup of water, and we stuck the hollow beaker in the surface, we would be shearing off a section of the water along the rim of the beaker, and that's kind of the way you want to think about surface tension. And then in the next example, we're going to show you the capillary action as a result of the surface tension, which is kind of like that. You put a small little tube in the water, and you can see the water rise up the tube because the adhesion forces are greater than the attractive forces. And by the way, once you break the, the surface tension by putting a little, little small little capillary tube in the water, the water will rise up the tube and we can calculate how high it will rise based upon the surface tension. So if you want to know how to do that, watch the next example.